If you're making a sci-fi room or corridor or something like that, you might need a security camera. So here's a quick way to make one of those round CCTV cameras. Okay. Press one, start from the front, press shift A, mesh, UV sphere. Open this up and change this to 20 and 10. Go into edit mode and Z for wireframe. Box select the bottom. We'll get rid of that. Box select the very top, get rid of that. So we got three rows. Press two for edge selection and shift alt and click here. E to extrude, pull it down until we have another row like that. Back to vertex selection and box select the right side and delete it. We'll put on a mirror and turn on clipping. Come back to solid view. Now we're gonna use the knife tool. We're gonna to cut out. Press K for the knife tool. Click here, click in the middle of these two, the middle of these two, and then click on this vertex and this vertex, spacebar to end. Three for face selection, C for paint select, and paint all these faces, X, delete those faces. Go back into vertex selection and select this vertex and then this one, merge at last. Do this one and this one, merge at last this one and this one merge at last and then this one and this one this one and this one merge at last now three for face selection select all those this one won't be selected so select it separately x faces all right control two for two subdivisions and shade smooth and come back in and vertex selection select that middle point and just Pull it down just a little bit to get a nice curve. So this is what we have here. Let's apply that mirror. Go in, select it all, M, merge by distance, just in case. Let's give this some thickness. Let's press E and Alt S and push to move it out. And I'm gonna move it out about 0 0.08. Control R. Let's do that again. Control R, drag an edge loop out, drag an edge loop in to sharpen it up. And we'll have this piece. Let's go back into object mode, into edit mode, sorry. Control R for an edge loop there. Let's straighten it by SZ0 and pull it down near the bottom to sharpen up this edge. With that still selected, let's duplicate it. Shift D and pull it down underneath the model. P and break it out. Go into object mode and select that one. So we have that one. Pull it up a little bit. Let's make the base. E to extrude, come down a little ways. E, come down a ways again, maybe an equal distance, and S to scale it out. Like that. E to extrude, come down a bit. E and S, and just tuck it under so there's a bit of rounding. Control R, drag an edge loop near the bottom. Up near here. Another one on top of that. Another one here, another one uh, here, and then shift alt and click this E and S and just drag it in a bit. Control R and drag it up and shade smooth. And we now have the base. Let's make this a little shorter. Select it all, scale in the Z, and then pull it down again. Okay. Now it's time to make the camera itself. The 3D cursor is still there. Shift A, mesh, UV sphere. Go into edit mode, scale it just a little bit. Select this top vertex and control plus to expand the selection, X vertices. Now we have a big hole. Go into edge selection, number two, and shift alt and click. Now we'll make the lens part. E and S, come in like that. E, come down. E and S. Come in and give a flat region. We're gonna use this to put some lights. E, come up just a little bit. E and S, come in. E, come down, but let's scale this in like this. Let's come in a little bit more. E, and go down. E and S, come in a little bit more. And go down one more time. So we'll have this. Now select these edges, shift, alt, and click, and control B and pull and have one edge in there. 
select all of these sharp edges here control B pull just a little bit and accept that now let's select all these ones in here and here and here control B and pull some more like that control 2 for two subdivisions this is what we have go back in shift alt to click this edge control B roll your mouse back to zero so you just have a space E and alt s and pull down to pull that in control R for an edge loop here and here and we have that so far all right we're going to put some lights around here so my 3d cursor is still there we can bring in a cylinder and I'll go for 18 vertices scale it down and let's bring it up I'm going to look from the top scale it down to the size that you want I'm going to pull it up to here I'm doing this in edit mode so my 3d cursor is still right there let's bring this down and just get it into the right position okay something like that select this top here in face selection and control B and pull and give it some segments I'm going to leave it like that for now go into top view in edit mode scroll over here and choose the spin tool in the X drag this around change this to 360 degrees and I'm gonna go for maybe 10 of these select it all alt n recalculate outside in case any polys were flipped with those still selected I'm going to hit this the slash key to isolate them and select one bottom face and then choose select similar coplanar that'll get all the bottoms x faces come into object mode and right click shade smooth slash key to bring them back and then just decide how far out you want them to project I'm going to pull them down a little bit more those can be like the lights with the 3d cursor still right there or maybe to make it a bit easier we can select a circle like that shift s cursor to select it bring the 3d cursor there shift a mesh plane scale it in so that it fits I can pull it above for now and then right click subdivide I'm going to change this to about five maybe one for vertex selection I just want to select that center of vertex I turn on proportional editing and pull roll my mouse up until I see that circle and I'm getting a nice sort of rounded effect here go back into object mode control one or two shade smooth go into edit mode and i'll pull this under like that and turn off that it's not really very noticeable but okay so we've got that and we've got this and we've got these those are all parts of the camera itself so i'm going to make a new collection and i'm going to call this camera Press 3 to look from the side and R to rotate. And I'm going to rotate it around and then I'm just going to press G to grab and, and move it so that it's not intersecting with any of the walls. Something like that. I'm going to select it again and just move it back just a little bit. And I'm okay with that, I think. I'm going to come into the top of the camera and in face selection I'm going to select those. I press C for paint select and I'm just going to do some typical stuff. I'm going to press I to inset, pull it in quite a ways, right click, loop tool, circle, and then I to inset, and then E and I'm just going to gesture down in that direction. I to inset again, and then E and it's going to gesture outwards like that. I'm going to throw in an edge loop here. Let's have a look at that. Just a nice soft kind of button. Put another edge loop here to tighten that up a bit. Alright, that can sit there. And then on the sides, let's select the main body there on number three. And in face selection, I'm going to press C. I'm going to select in face selection number three. I'm going to select those. And then control three to look from the other side and select those. So 
I got them on both sides. I'm gonna do a similar thing and I press I to inset. That'll do both sides. Right click, loop tools, circle. But then switch to individual origins because I have more than one thing selected. Press S to scale, scale them down the way you like. I to inset. And then E and Alt S, pull down. That'll pull it in. E, Alt S, push out. I to inset. E, Alt S, and pull like that. Put an edge loop up and an edge loop down. Do the same thing on the other side. Edge loop up and an edge loop down. And we have this. Let's select everything and move it up above the X. And let's turn on the cavity shader for this last little bit and the shadow. Select the base and select a circle. Shift D to duplicate it and pull it down. P to break it out. We now have that. Select it in edit mode. Scale it out like this. We're going to make the little plate that has screws. I'm going to press 1 for vertex selection. I just like it. E and S come in just a little bit. E and S come in till it's almost touching. E and S come in one more time. And then F to make a face. This row is very important. We're going to make the holes there. So Control R one more time there. 3 for face selection. C for paint select. Select those four. These four. These four. Hit escape to come out, move up if you have to, and select these four. I'm still in individual origins and that's fine, that's what we're gonna need. I to inset a little bit, right click, loop to a circle, with the individual origins on, S to scale, and pull them in so that they're not crossing over this edge or this edge. Now I need to move this, so go to median point, S to scale and pull up, and that'll move them. If you need to, go back to individual origins, S to scale a little bit more. I to inset just a little bit. X faces. Select the whole thing. Extrude down in the Z. Control R up. Control R down. Select the whole thing. Alt N. Recalculate outside in case we had to. Pull the whole thing up until it's sort of the base is resting on it. And let's make sure we shade smooth. All right. I'm just going to pull everything up a little bit above that. Let's turn that off. Matte cap. That one. And you can notice a little bit of discoloration here, a little darker. You might think that's the matte cap, but chances are that's flipped. All right. So let's just take that piece and select it all. Alt and recalculate outside. We should be good and that is the camera right there that you could stick on the wall or on the ceiling one more thing I might want to do on this just to give a little bit more detail is in here I'm going to scroll my mouse wheel up three or four times control B pull make sure I roll back to zero let's do this actually without that on a little bit easier to see Control B, roll back to zero, so you just have a space. E and Alt S, and you can push or pull. I'm gonna push, because I find it looks a little bit nicer. And then you can have some detail on the lens part. And there you go, that is it, we are done.